Hey, hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm Kant and I'm an AI consultant. So before getting into today's topic, so let me just uh, share a small uh, means like questions people are asking me. So now some of the learners are asking Kant, can you share me some of the interesting textbooks which we can go and read or how we exactly we can pick a textbook. So in order to learn about AI. So now in order to understand about it, so even we do and even I do a lot of uh, reference through the textbooks. So in order to refer to a textbook, the major reason is textbooks are written by different, different people across the globe and each person going to have a different view on the same topic. And not only that, so they are having a lot of experience and that ex based on that experience, they write down certain information, right? So we want to understand, so how exactly these concepts they are trying to interpret it. So we, we want to understand that. So is there any something more interesting we can find? We can just share it with the learner. So I, I keep on referring to the lot of textbooks. So as part of it, so I have a small subscription, so which is called as packed subscription. I'm having it, so you no need to buy it. Now you can refer to what are the textbooks I'm Share, share explaining here so if you reach out to me i can share that free textbooks with you you can just have it as a free download and you can access them so now when you are trying to refer to a textbook so don't just look for one big textbook for everything so when if you are trying to look for one big textbook for everything like an encyclopedia you may end up with not opening the textbook at all for example here i divided my textbooks into different parts for example i'm looking for a each subtopic for example i want to learn ai so in case if i know a for example, if I know statistics, I don't refer to it. But if you don't even know statistics, what I suggest you start referring to a statistic textbook. So start reading from the statistics. But here I'm referring that, okay, you are, you have some knowledge on stats. Then what you can do is you can start watching the content from machine learning algorithms. So they, they starts with machine learning models or machine learning fundamentals. But here, if you notice it, while people are writing the textbooks, they directly go into, so even though it is the first chapter, they directly get into the actual implementation without a proper basic some people going to go for it. i'm saying right now i refer to the textbooks as i already have the knowledge so when i refer it i gonna understand it better but as a learner so you are already going through maybe some free content like video lectures or you're going through maybe a course and as a support if you want to have a textbooks going to be the wonderful choice now they go into the mathematical equation they directly write down the code but that code doesn't run on your system the reason why is so in it while they are writing textbooks they pick the screenshots and they try to keep it so your code may not Run, but even coding is very easy like with the help of chat gpt nowadays now now that, that's how i just divided i i start getting into machine learning algorithms so i see what are the concepts we have with an ml so i try to understand them so these concepts make sense for example understanding loss functions regularization that would be too early for example if i'm teaching ai or ml i don't go and teach loss functions, regularizations on the early time. So we discuss it at a deep learning level. Now here, they again started explaining about semi-supervised, but it's a good textbook. They explain about what is various terminologies they explain. Now, what you can do, now you can start referring to this textbook. You can just highlight the points you can understand them. But I suggest you to watch textbook with a particular video classes which are going through through YouTube or whatever it is. That is something important. So once you understood a machine learning, then pick subjects like NLP actual language processing so you need to be specialized in nlp why without nlp specialization you cannot understand the concepts of generative ai for example if you want to understand generative ai you need to have the foundation of nlp without the foundation of machine learning you cannot understand the building blocks of deep learning how deep learning works and all that and without the understanding of deep learning you cannot understand your generative ai so if you see here we have understanding generative ai and all that so without understanding generative ai like prompt engineering, RAG and all that, without that understanding, you cannot understand the purpose of your transformers, why we are using transformers and all that. So everything is interconnected. So once you have this foundation, then even if you want to be a project manager across AI, then you can refer to textbooks related to, so how you use AI as a project manager and all this kind of stuff, you are able to relate. For example, if you if you want to really learn, so AI maybe uh, from a live class, etc. You can refer to my classes as well, where exactly I will be. I'm doing the 
live live weekday live classes where exactly we discuss about the concepts of AI from the very basics up to your expert level where we start working on the basics concept we start with Python SQL we learn about statistics machine learning the fundamentals of your maths like linear algebra calculus we get into your machine learning concepts forecasting deep learning generative AI so your prompt engineering rag architecture agentic architecture working on advanced deep learning algorithms reinforcement learning so on and so forth and you can work on various real-time projects and you can place it as an internship so if you want to do yes the links are in the description you can just have a look over it but let's get into uh, the particular one now if you are finding it difficult so every time when you are trying to get into your textbook so you need to use textbook as a reference to with your youtube learning or you need to use your textbook as a reference with your uh, what is that with your particular um, udemy learning or a, a particular pg program learning or maybe your master's learning you cannot just relay on textbooks alone to get it now if the reason why i go to textbooks again the point going to be if i want to go deeper into the topic so we cannot refer to one textbook you cannot take a textbook hard copy you cannot buy it you need to refer to a lot of textbooks the reason you are picking so one guy is very good at one area so we are picking the information from multiple textbooks so that you are able to increase your knowledge that is the purpose of it now in ai learning there is a sequence so you if you are getting into everything on the day one for example if you see if you look at this machine learning there are a lot of mathematical equation if you start looking at all the mathematical equation from day one if you start understanding you cannot start your data's ai journey you cannot kick start your ai journey you cannot get into it the reason why there is a lot of math yes there is a math in your ai if you start focusing on entire math on the day one you cannot kick start it so before you are getting into ai if you want yes to understand them just watch like one or two hours video on linear algebra one or two hours video on calculus that would be good or even if you just high levelly if you can understand what exactly your mathematical purpose is without knowing going deep into it just understand purpose of linear algebra understand the purpose of calculus once you got it then what you can do is now you can start getting into stats you can start getting into your machine learning understand supervised learning so understand the unsupervised way of learning self supervised learning semi supervised learning understand reinforcement learning start coding a simple supervised learning algorithm and understand the math behind that supervised learning algorithm so no need to go deeper into the math just understand the high level math so get overview prepare the notes so why math is important so write down every coding write down the steps how exactly ai engineer perform his life cycle po write down the steps everything prepare a very good notes and do a lot of hands on so be comfortable with writing the code understand the life cycle of it the reason why i'm saying uh, you no need to learn about math so quick the reason is one now in the real time in order to build ai models we can use auto ml so now we got auto deep learning we don't do it but we we can rely on pre-trained models if you are saying generative ai we rely on a lot of pre-trained models so now most of the time we are using auto ml pre-trained models this kind of work now theory is very important if you want to build something which is not there in the industry or if you want to customize your algorithmic level you want the theory very important i'm not saying theory is not very very important but but before getting into theory be comfortable with the life cycle yes you are comfortable with the life cycle so get overview so now that's what you are doing first step prepare the notes why to use it when to use it and second do it with the coding whatever the preparation you made it do it with the coding all right you made a coding and then try to take a simple project whatever you learned it work on a simple project and then okay you are feeling good you are feeling it bored then what you can do is now you can dig deeper with the help of textbooks you can go to your textbooks you can refer to your textbooks you can dig deep or you can understand the theory or you can just use chat gpt go to every theory element now understand deeper elements now while you're reading theory you're not getting some topics because you lack linear algebra you lack calculus for that topic you're getting back into linear or calculus now instead of learning everything and getting into each topic now first get a overview you can do it now be a master so first be a jack of all trades and then be a master or be an expert if you are directly targeting towards a master so you may not reach the goal you may not means you cannot do anything you fail to do any means like you it takes a lot of time to be that master to be that perfectionist for that reason follow these steps that going to help you and not only that so one thing which help really help me is when i'm using mac and windows again some people ask kant which uh, again uh, laptop i need to take whether it is a mac or windows personally i feel windows is good the reason when you are trying to run the models ai models especially now 
the dependency issues you get a lot in Mac and you don't get a lot of issues with respect to your Windows. Speed wise, Mac is brilliant, but uh, Windows going to have some issues, but practically when you're writing a code, when you're going with your coding, so that going to seriously increase your time. Means like if I'm spending one hour of time in a Mac, you need to spend a lot of time to fix the issues itself. Most of the beginners lose the motivation to fix that issues related to your system. But where if you are a beginner, if you can kickstart with uh, Windows, that would be very easy to install them, to set up everything and you can start uh, doing your work in a very easy way. I hope you got a clear understanding. So if you are starting with AI, so pick up, you start something with overview and the textbooks going to help it. Most of the people ask, so hey, come on, take this five textbooks or 10 textbooks, they help you. But instead of taking a textbook, I say, search in the internet, learn it. That is another way you can go for it. But you need to, I uh, mean, te textbooks, you can refer to it when you want to specialize a topic. If you want to take multiple views from multiple authors, yes, textbooks going to be a wonderful resource. And I hope you got a simple understanding about how exactly, or if you want to start with textbook collection, start with ML, NLP, and your deep learning and after deep learning understand your generative ai and after that transformers or even you can do it another way so like machine learning nlp deep learning transformers and generative way any of this way you are able to do it i hope you got a clear understanding about it in case if you have any questions you can please share your views in the comment section thank you so much